So for today, we're going to be looking at the Sunlit Armor set. This is the armor from Solstice, the free one. I'm not going to be doing the other two, the glows, just because, A, I don't have the white glow. I did. I skipped Solstice this week or this season just because I was afraid that they were, we were not going to be able to get the, the unglowed version. That's not the case. Bungie has said that they're going to retain the glow and the non-glow version. So that's really cool. I'm still not going to do Solstice just because I don't trust Bungie because they've gone back on their words a lot but that's just me. But if you guys want to check out the Sunlight Armor Set review, it's right here. You guys can check it out. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and the shader video, which is right here. You guys can definitely check that one out. That one, we just go through all of the shaders that I currently own. No talking, just music, and yeah, just enjoy it because I definitely found some shaders that I was not expecting the combos to be. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, First set we're going to be looking at is the helmet. The helmet is pretty cool. Uh, this one is a little weird, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know what the theme was for this one. I just thought, like, in my head, I just want it, want it to look cool. So for the helmet, we're going to be obviously using the Sunlit helmet. For the arms, Pathfinder grips, because I wanted to combine it with the Lux vest, because both of them have that black. And then Dynamo current strides, just because I love those boots. If I'm being quite honest, I could probably have just skipped out on the Lux cloak because the dynamo current strides i really like them a lot just because of the skirt at the back that being said i do think uh the chest piece and the boots like conflict a lot not the front it's more so the back skirt i think the back skirt is a little too i want to say formal but not really formal like it just doesn't fit the theme of the chest piece because the chest piece is very super casual and then the boots give off more of like um like different time timelines i guess you would say like the vest is very much like a current time like just a vest like something you would see now and then the boots are something like you would see someone using like a thousand two thousand years ago type thing so that's why i like i think the boots and the chest piece are a little bit mismatched but at the same time i always like to give out like some of my first whips of stuff just because you might never know this might be a building box for some people that are like oh i like this but i'm gonna like add on to it and most of the time i like to have sets as like that as well just because again uh some sets are not like 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 wins some are definitely not l's but work in progresses which is why i say whip so let me know what you guys think about this one but i do think the next one is super super dope which is gonna be for the dragon's shadow this one i i was cooking for this one for sure for the helmet miss Myth, myth mask is where we're using the assassin's creed helmet essentially for the arms the sunlit arms is what we are using chest piece dragon shadow like i just said strides of the great hunt for the boots and then for the mark and for the cloak we're gonna be using the abyss walker cloak i absolutely love how this came out for the shader vitrified duality is what i'm using because it actually does give you a purple glow and i think this looks super dope there's not a lot of things to be picky about for this set i think the gold came the gold trim specifically for vitrified duality the color is so damn close that i was like i i have not i i found it i found the shader that goes really well with dragon shadow because if you guys don't know dragon shadow gold trim does not change colors so I am actually pretty proud of this one because I think all of the coloring looks really, really good. And I also think all of the pieces looks really cool as well. I am definitely a big fan of how these sunlit gloves look really, really cool with the strides of the great hunt. I will be combining with this with other sets in the future just because eight they're symmetrical, which is something I always try to do for the strides of the great hunt. And overall, this set just looks so cool. The helmet, I think gives this uh, a much more like gritty warrior look which i definitely love and honestly the abyss walker cloak i really like it as well just because the trim on the top is really really cool but also the boa is something really important as well so overall i think this was this one might be the best one i don't remember the other two so we'll hold off to say which one's the best one but in my heart i'm like this one's clearly the best one and i know a lot of people use dragon shadows so hopefully i see some people use this set because i do think it's a banger as for the next set, we're going to be using Thalia's Reach Ornament for the Liar's Handshake. And for this one, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I did not mean to use the Refined Revel shader. I mean, on one hand, this was the original look that I made. Uh, the only difference is just the shader difference. 
I actually ended up using In Silvered Snare, which is the shader from Grasp of Avarice, the solo one. And I think that one came out way better. Not saying the Refined Revels looks bad. It looks cool. It's just my biggest gripe with it is the fact that the Solstice Strides Majestic. Um, you can see the different golds. And that's why I decided to go for something else because I didn't want the golds to clash. Specifically the knees, you can see the different gold. Um, the one on the knee is a little bit more desaturated, like actual like yellow gold. And then the gold from the actual boots, like the shin guards and whatnot, that's more of an orange gold. So that's why I was like, I don't like ref refined revels just because of that. But again, if you change the shader to like accommodate for the gold on Solstice Strides Majestic, I think this set is a banger. For the helmet, Pathfinder's helm is what I'm using because I love this helmet. It looks really good with the sunlit chest piece. And then for the boots, the reason I'm using Solstice Strides Majestic is because a, it looks really good with it. Personally, I really, really think it looks good with it. And I didn't want anything too, too ornamental for the boots because I didn't want it to take away from the chest piece. I think the chest piece is the main focus of that. And I didn't want to like mess with that. And then Solstice Cloak Magnificent because I wanted some trim for there in there as well because from the front, there is no trim and from the back, there is trim. I kind of wanted to like make sure there's trim in the back and the front. So that way it kind of looks like uniform. So overall, I really like this set. Again, like I said, the only thing I would just change is the fact that the shader is different in like the actual look. I'll have a picture of the set right now, not like <clears throat> like here, like how I usually do it, but just a small picture so you guys can know like where my head was going because I definitely think the In Silvered Snare is a much better option because um, you can ignore the gold and it actually looks really, really cool. And then last but not least, we are using the boots and the cloak for the sunlit armor. This one is super, super cool. I actually like this one quite a bit just because all of it looks really, really good. For the helmet, we're gonna be using the Assassin's Cowl with the Gilded Memento ornament. I absolutely love this ornament. It is such a dope ornament. For the arms, Illuminous Grasp Majestic is why I'm using because I like to pair this one with the Nemean QRS and the boots of the sunlit um, armor. I think all of it just looks really, really cool. If I were to be nitpicky i would probably say to pick another arm that's more symmetrical because the boots are symmetrical that being said the cloak isn't symmetrical it's really really small but you do have like two feathers at the top so that's why i'm like i, I don't really care because all of it's not super duper symmetrical granted like the chest piece there's differences in the actual piece not like the plate armor but like the leather straps belts and whatnot is heavy on the right side so i'm like it's fine like aesthetically it doesn't look too heavy on the right side because it's literally just two pieces that are like different but overall i do think aesthetically it just looks really really cool or the shader grand luster is what we're using i love this shader i've all i've told people to get this shader because this is a solstice shader only so if you guys have not gotten this shader definitely pick it up that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about these sets i absolutely love making these videos these videos are like a lot of fun for me because uh, just, just a lot of fun using uh, armor pieces that are, I'm not used to or that they're new so that way I can like see like oh what can I do with this because I'm gonna be real with you guys the second set I think is a banger of a look granted I know a few people are gonna be bitching about the fact that I used a lot of gold in this in this video but um, I don't care that all of it looks really really cool again like I said the third set I was supposed to be using a different shader um, but I had already recorded all of this and I didn't want to re go back into re-record re re it because I do want this video to come out today. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Again, like I say, or like we started this, this video shader is going to be Grand Luster. Comment down below Grand Luster. That'll, that way I know that you came, guys came up to this point, but I appreciate you guys. A lot of content is going to be coming out soon because, uh, I am going to be really, really busy in the month of August because just a bunch of stuff is happening. I'm going to go to LA to visit my mom because I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, within that same time, I'm probably going to propose to my girlfriend. So that's also going to be wild. And uh, yeah, I just need to make videos for that because I'm going to be leaving for like a week and a half. So I appreciate you guys being up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later. <clears throat>